YouTube. Bandana Grimm here. Welcome to my kitchen this Monday afternoon, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <coughs> That's the time I usually like to do my live streams when I do them is Mondays at 1 p.m. We babysit our eight-month-old grandson Tuesday through Friday, so Mondays seem to be a good choice for us to uh, do the live, for me to do the live stream. Hello, let me see. Oh, it's McKenna. Freddie, hello. Hello, Kate. Yay. <laughs> Glad you're here, Kate. And there's uh, Brenda, Duncan's Homestead, and Hope in Chaos. Hello, Hope. Be sure to check out Hope's channel. She's a homesteader. Uh, she used to have a, a, a bigger homestead and then she scaled down to uh, save money to buy an even bigger one and that's where she's at now and she's sharing her life with us and it's she's got a great channel so hope and chaos check her out uh, let's see peaceful inspirations hi lady this is the first time the sound is loud enough good i'm wearing my little lapel mic i hope it's not too loud sometimes because i had trouble before i projected and then when i wear my lapel mic i kind of yell at people <laughs> so hello that jessica oh mckenna's with you great that's my sister jody and jody's on i have to give her a plug uh look at her name and check out her facebook page because jody is a representative, an independent consultant for paparazzi jewelry. And all her jewelry is gorgeous and it's $5, so you gotta go check it out. Uh, you'll, you'll be glad you did. All right. Uh, okay, I think that Tamson, hello. I think, oh, my new me, hello. Yes, hooray on the 6,000. And Brenda, my new me, you are a big part of that. Brenda has a very large channel, and she gave me a shout-out the other day, and it really helped push me over the 6,000. So thank you, sweetie. That was so kind of you. Let's see. Hope says she's doing great. She's excited for school to start and Southern Mama's Coffee Break. Yep, that's another channel that uh, uh, Cherish Hope and Chaos uh, has on Facebook. And I end YouTube, I think. Okay, I'm going to get started. I'll say hello to people as I see them. I want to share with you this terrific deal I got. It really pays for you to check your community online posts. Uh, sometimes they have community websites <coughs> for your town or your county where people sell things or advertise things they have to give away. And I spotted this the other day and on there, and I was so fortunate to be able to run over and pick it up. And it is a sewing machine. It's this sewing machine right here. Let me turn it so you can see it better. All right, it's a Singer Inspiration. This thing was still shrink-wrapped, never used, came with the CD and all the attachments and the book. <laughs> and a little pamphlet and everything and I got it for 50 bucks so I was thrilled to get it I wanted to have another backup sewing machine I'm going to try this one out today and it may even become my my uh my first sewing machine and not my backup sewing machine so yay for bandana grandma she got another great deal you know I love hunting down those bargains so I was really happy to find this one <laughs> Okay, holy guacamole, yeah, that was a great deal. Yep, okay, now, what I've been working on, a long time ago when we were in Massachusetts visiting my son, you guys saw me working on this apron, <coughs> and I didn't finish it. <coughs> so I'm going to finish it today. I need to put pockets on it, and I need to put a ruffle on the bottom, so... I'm going to trim it with this fabric, and I'll be using my new sewing machine later today to put those on to make this apron with big pockets on the front and a nice uh, ruffle along the bottom. So that'll be that apron. And I'm going to point you over in the other direction and show you the other aprons I'm working on. 
and hope my microphone reaches. All right, now, Kate, this is going to look familiar to you because this is similar to the one you have, but it's red. This one's finished. Uh, uh, this is what I call an embellished apron. I bought the apron, this part, already made, and it was such a good price, I didn't want to pass it up, but the strings were super cheesy. All they were were this... Um, you see this little trim here? I think it's called a binding tape or something like that. That's all the strings were. And it had no ruffle. So I took off all the ties and strings and I put on nicer ones with my own fabric and put a ruffle on the bottom. So I'm selling this one for $18 shipped because I got such a good deal on it. I can let that one go pretty cheap. So that's my apple apron. And this one I made from scratch, really cute. It's got the kitchen appliances on it. With ties. Ties, long ties in the back. And a red ruffle on the bottom. So I finished that one as well. And I've got more of this fabric to work on some more aprons. And I will be mixing it let me grab this color with more of this blue fabric or red with it to uh, make the ruffles and ties and things. And I've got more of this kitchen fabric to make more with. I've got this pretty flowered fabric I'll be making aprons with and similar in gray. And I've got more of the labels that you saw with the first apron I'll be making more with. And then for fun, I got some big polka dot ones. See what I can do with that. And here's an, another bunch of that blue that I'm using for trim. And I have some purple to make some more purple. I'm not only going to be making aprons, I'm also planning on making long prairie skirts. I, want, I was hoping to get one done in time to go to the Pratt Family Homestead Hootenanny to wear. But time's getting short. And with me babysitting, I'm really not getting things done that I had hoped I'd get done. So I'm a little behind in everything. So let me check your comments before we go on with other news. Okay. Okay, it looks like there's 19 in here and six thumbs up. Thank you very much for that. Hello, Patricia. Quite frankly, Jen, hello, Farmer Mima. Always delightful to have you here. I'm having trouble reading this because it's so small. Elegant Homestead, hello. Judy, hello. Don't want to miss anybody. If I did, I apologize. It's very small on my screen and I'm trying to read out of the bottom of my trifocals here. Will that be used as a portable when you travel? It could, I always bring a machine with me, so I don't know which one I'll bring, but this one's a little bigger. So it depends how much uh, room there is in the uh, um, car. Our car is not very big. Yes, the material is cotton or cotton blend on, on the fabrics there. Yay, purple. Kate loves purple. <laughs> New York City homesteader, hello. <laughs> yeah, we, we really enjoy babysitting Jeffrey. He is just a joy. And Jen is shelling peas. Good for you, Jen. Alrighty. I think. Oh, Darlene shared. Thank you. That is such a big help for my channel. If somebody shares my live stream so others can see it and, and decide to uh, come take a look. Okay, good. Now, I had some mail come in. A lot of you know I just had a birthday and I had some cards come in that I shared before 
and I had a few more come in. I don't think I showed this one before. This is from Darlene. And she said, may your birthday be a wonderful time spent just the way you want. I realize you haven't a clue who I am, but I'm a lucky person to know you through your videos. Thank you for letting us all share in your life and family, making us all feel welcome. You are all very welcome. My husband gets a kick out of the delightful the delight I get watching my ladies on YouTube. That's so cute. I'm fairly housebound because of Parkinson's, but love going out into your garden on tours. Thank you. Enjoy your birthday. Take care, Darlene. Isn't that sweet? So, Darlene, thank you so much for the birthday card and, and the wonderful sentiment and the note you wrote to me. All righty. And... Angela James sent me one. Some of these I'm hoping I didn't read before because I can't remember which ones came before and after my last live stream. But she says, sounds like you had a great birthday. The beach kids, grandchildren, food, ice cream, cake, and fudge. Yay, you were blessed. Happy birthday. Love you, Angela. So Angela is in Tennessee. Thank you, Angela, for the beautiful card. I really enjoy getting them. All right, and then I got one from Jill in Morovia, and this is beautiful. I think she made, she did, she made this card, and it's all like 3D, so it's got little things glued all on here. Isn't that adorable? I love homemade cards, and it's got little sparkly glued on things down here. <coughs> so cute. It's your day. Happy birthday. Hugs, Jill. Morovia, Maryland. It is so sweet. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Jill. That was so kind of you to send that and take all the time to do it. And then, uh-oh, I think I left part of this out in the other room. All right, I'm going to run. It'll take me one minute, one second to run out there and get it because I don't want to show the rest of it without having the whole thing here. I'll be right back. Okay, maybe five, maybe. <laughs> Let me get my mic back on here so you can hear me. All right, this card, this little package, it looks like I'm lagging a little bit. It's from my friend Laura in Colorado. She is a big supporter of my channel and has bought a lot of my crafts and is always encouraging me and writing me sweet notes and leaving nice comments. And she sent me a little gift bag here. She actually made this little envelope with a pull down thing. <laughs> you people are so crafty. And she sent me a lot of cute little gifts, little uh, cherry pencil with a cherry um, eraser. And she wrote me a note. She says, hi, I hope your birthday was grand. Sorry my card and gifts are late. I've been busy working in the fields. I've been irrigating our grass in alpha. I guess alfalfa has been growing like weeds. We will be irrigating till July 8th. And after that day, we will turn off the ditches to let the fields dry and Custom Farm will come and cut the fields. Can't wait. It will be a big payoff for me and the owner. We're happy. Yay. And she says, have a blessed day. God bless you. Kisses to Jeffrey. Beautiful kid. Glad I'm part of his life. Love always. Laura, doggy chips, and kitties. <laughs> so that was very sweet. And she sent me a whole bunch of these things I showed an interest in before. This true lemon additive. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, crystallized lemon to put in tea and water to flavor your drinks. So I was really thrilled to get that. <coughs> I hope I didn't misplace any else part of it. And, and then she sent me, just for fun, this little ring that says friends on it. <laughs> so thank you, Laura. That was so cute. Um, thank you, everyone, for remembering me on my birthday or short, shortly thereafter. It's just as much fun getting it after as on the day or before the day. So I really appreciate that. So that's my mail call for today. 
I had something come in. A couple of companies want me to, um, what's the word, review, assess, give an evaluation on some products they have. And I'm looking those over deciding if that's something I want to do or not. So I'll let you know more on that. I, I am always doing the um, Nadine West clothing that they send for me to review because I love it. And uh, they send me clothes at no cost. So what's there to lose just to share that with you. So that's fun. Now, let's see what else. Hope I didn't miss anything. Letha, hello. Alicia, hello. Alicia, thank you for sharing, honey. Pretty cards, yep. <laughs> All right, I don't want to take too much time scrolling here because it's going to drive other. True lemon, love, love, love. Tamsin likes that. Good. You know what I'm going to do? I got a cup of tea right here. I'm going to put a true lemon in it. <laughs> Why not? Isn't this the perfect time? I don't have a spoon to stir it, but I know where they are. Okay. And if you watch my videos, you all know where my spoons are, too. <laughs> because you've seen me clean my kitchen and put my silverware away. <laughs> okay, here we go. True lemon in the tea. Oh yeah, that is lemony. That's good. Oh, good. Thank you, Laura. I enjoy that. I didn't see if Laura came in or not, but I enjoy that. Thank you. All right. Now, we are going to have a giveaway today, and there's going to be a trivia question. And it's going to be a question about a recent story I told on both my Facebook page and my YouTube communication page. So for those who subscribe to those two, you're going to have seen that story if you took time to read it, to read it, <laughs> to read it. And the question is going to pertain to that story. So get ready for that. And I'll show you what I'm giving away. This isn't anything expensive. It's something I happened to see and I loved and said, I can't let these sit here. They're lightweight so I can mail them. It won't cost too much. So I'm going to give them away on a live stream because they're so cute. And it's coffee cups and it says hot coffee. It's kind of a, like a canvas print. And then there's another one that says teacup. Aren't they cute? So it's wall art to put in your kitchen or your coffee nook or wherever. So if you're interested in winning those at the end of this live stream, I'm going to have a trivia question and somebody's going to win those. So, yeah, I thought they were really cute. I hope they're more because now when I give these away, I might go back and get some more for me. <laughs> All right, is there anything else on the table I need to show you? No. Only if some of you have been ordering my mugs, if you want to order this mug with the blue inside and the blue handle with logo on both sides, that's uh, $18 shipped. And if you would like... <coughs> The, the white one with the white handle and the white inside logo on both sides, that's $16 shipped. And you can just contact me and we'll work it out. You can do PayPal or credit card or whatever. But I, I thank those of you who buy my mugs and then you take a picture of yourself with it and send it to me and I can post it with the others, I, my rogue gallery of the people who have my mugs. <laughs> so that's fun. Now, I'm going to take you out into the dining room and show you some other crafts I'm going to be working on. I am so far behind in my crafts. The Pratt Family Homestead is having their annual Hootenanny, and they're having that July 27th in Michigan uh, at Somerset, uh, Michigan. Camp, Somerset Campground in Michigan. It's free if anybody wants to go to it. There's going to be a lot of YouTube channels there. And some of us are going to have vending tables. So I'm hoping to bring my crafts and have a table there. Uh, I'm behind. I don't have as many as I wanted to, but I'm going to keep working between now and then and see what happens. But Jeffrey is worth it. That is true. <laughs> now, 
Let me turn the camera around and show you the table here. What I'm going to be working on. Now I am bandana grandma after all. And I'm going to be working on more aprons, but I'm also going to be working on prairie skirts. And what I want to do is take denim fabric and cut it up into squares and also cut up different bandanas and make patchwork prairie skirts out of denim and different uh, bandanas, mixing and matching them, nice full prairie skirts. I think uh, they would work up really cute and be nice for my channel. So that's one thing I'm gonna work on, aprons and prairie skirts made out of denim and different bandanas. And when we go to the Pratt Family Homestead Hoot Nanny, and I do have my vending table, I will be having my, my mittens. I make uh, fleece line mittens out of recycled wool sweaters, and I mix and match all different prints and solids and uh, make mittens. So here's a few of them that I had already completed and I'll be making more. Of course, this time of year, you're not looking for mittens, but come fall, you will be. So there's some of my mittens. I'm also crocheting and my plan is, yeah, we're working on another puzzle. <laughs> we finished the great big one, the 3000 piece one. While we're traveling to Michigan, I'll be crocheting during those hours in the drive, and I'll be making some of my floppy hats, my caps, and I also make, Kate, you were interested in these. These are, let me find the right side here. These are fingerless, here it is, fingerless dragon scale gloves. See the dragon scales? <laughs> So I'll be making those. There's a lighter weight one, and this is a heavier, stiffer one made out of thicker yarn. So those are fingerless, dragon scale, cuffed gloves. So I'll be working on those as well. So I'm staying pretty busy. And the last thing I'm gonna be working on has to do with Jeffrey. Someone had given us this very nice high chair. So we could have a high chair for Jeffrey. But the seat, the leather seat is kind of worn out. You can see right down in here it's worn out. So I want to take that seat apart and use it as a pattern and make another one. And I picked up this vinyl that I'm going to make a new seat out of. So that's another project I have coming up to recover that chair with this vinyl and make another seat. I think it'll look pretty in here too because I've got not quite the same colors, but I have, you know, different shades of uh, aqua and blue in here. You see, we got Jeffrey stuff everywhere, the diaper thing, <laughs> the jumper chair, the playpen. Yeah, and the bedroom's got the crib. We got the high chair. Yeah, we've got all kinds of Jeffrey paraphernalia. <clears throat> oh, and there's there's a stroller over there. <laughs> yep. Proud grandparents for sure. All right, I'm gonna turn this around, talk to you, check your comments, and then we're gonna have a giveaway. So let me go back out into the kitchen. comments <laughs> I'm Canadian what's a prairie skirt it's it's a long full skirt sometimes they're made with tears going graduated tears going down to the floor or they can be made with patchwork in tears going down to the floor so uh, either way it's like a frontier skirt 
And they could be a little short, like just below the knee or calf length or to the floor. I do want to put pockets in them, Tamsin. And I can make them with different lengths. Yes, I'm going to the HOA conference, and I have a vending table there. Last year, I did very well <clears throat> with my vending table at HOA Homesteaders of America. That's being held in Virginia, Northern Virginia. Uh, and it was cold, so I sold out of my mittens. <laughs> it was Everybody was suffering, but I did well <laughs> because my mittens all sold. I should have made more hats. I could have sold out of hats, too. This year, I'll probably stock up on that and we'll have a heat wave and I won't sell anything. <laughs> Utter chaos. Yeah. Hope and chaos and utter chaos. You don't want to mix those two up. Uh, both nice channels. Alrighty, let's see if there are any questions I need to answer before we have our giveaway. <laughs> Alrighty, if I didn't answer a question, you can repeat it at the bottom or Kate can flag it for me because... I don't want to miss any questions and it's hard to see all these and when somebody's watching the replay this is very boring for them for me to be scrolling through here love gloves thank you utter chaos Ah, thank you, Tamsin, that you like the turquoise blue for our high chair. Will you be making aprons to go along with the skirts? I don't know if I'll be making, like, matching aprons. I really am limited on time, so I'll be lucky to get a few skirts done. Can we order prairie skirts with pockets? When they're done, uh, I may have some for sale. It, it will be my own pattern, so... I can do that. I don't know the price yet or anything like that because I have to make one up first before I see what time has gone into it and what fabrics I use. Uh, <laughs> White Trash Mom is learning to use a sewing machine. Do you cut up old jeans or just buy denim material? I can bring jeans to the HOA conference. Uh, Jen, you're coming to HOA. Ah, I'm so excited. I have never met Jen. Oh, I'm so glad you're coming. That's wonderful. Woohoo! And Hobby, Hobby Farm, she'll be there. That's great. Make sure you introduce yourself to me. Tell me who you are. I'm going to Ephrata, PA, next month near Lancaster. Can you recommend a restaurant or two? I sure can. Depends what you're looking for. Um, if you want, like, the Amish type experience, um, Good and Plenty is a family style restaurant, and also Good and Plenty and Plain and Fancy. They're very similar. Uh, and also Miller's Smorgasbord is, is a good one. Uh, Miller's Smorgasbord is more of a sit down restaurant, uh, it has good Pennsylvania Dutch food. It isn't necessarily Amish run or anything. The other two, I'm not sure who runs them, but there's a lot of Amish that work there. And they have family style dining, which is they have big long tables and they seat you as you come in with other people, like at a church supper or something around these big long tables. And you get introduced to each other. And first I thought it would be kind of awkward, but it's really fun because you get to chat with people about your experiences and where you're from and the food you're trying the first time ever with the Pennsylvania Dutch food. It's all good food. It's not cheap. It's not cheap, but it's good food. I don't know if it's like 
28 $32 a ticket or something. I, I, you'd have to look it up online, Plain and Fancy and Good and Plenty. Those are two good Pennsylvania Dutch type restaurants. And the Millersburg, Miller's Smorgasbord. Miller's Smorgasbord is also good. If you want to email me, bandanagramma at gmail.com. And bandana in that instance has two N's at the end, B-A-N-D-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, bandanagramma at gmail.com. Um, I'll try and answer your questions to give you more details of what we do when we go there. We go there a lot. Okay, Mama has to go. Cherry tomatoes and dehydrating, good for you. Utter Chaos has her tickets for HOA. That is so cool. Alrighty, glad you all come in here. Now, for the drawing. All right, let me get a drink. I'm getting a dry throat. Now, here's the deal. You have to live in the U.S. I can't be shipping outside the U.S. because it's just too expensive. But um, what I'm going to do is ask you a question, a trivia question regarding a recent uh, post I put up on both my Facebook page and my YouTube um, community page community uh, chat <clears throat> and it was a story I put up and it was about a bat that got into our house so if you read that story you should know the answer to this now the answer I choose has to be the first one that comes up on my screen if a lot of you answer at the same time your answer is going to look like it's first on your screen but I have to go by what comes up first on my screen. So please be understanding if you think I was first and I say somebody else was. I have to go by what I see. Okay. So to win both of these, these cute hot coffee and tea, little canvassy wall plaques. The question is, in the story I told, my husband went tiptoeing through the house to catch a bat. What was he carrying in his hand? And I'm looking for four words. Okay, can't just be the two last words. It has to be descriptive of what he was carrying as I described it. So there's two words. There's two words. It's got to be four words because I described something further about it. So let's see who, what you can, who comes up with it first. Uh, you're close. You're close. You, it's got to be four words. Because it added to the picture, the descriptive picture of what he was carrying in his hand. Now they're all running to look at the story to see. Uh, it was a crab net, but there was a crab net long pole. Good enough. That Jessica, she's got it. A long handled, long poled crabbing net. Okay. I, okay, I see the very first one that had the long handle or long pole on it was that Jessica. Right after her, <laughs> no tamps, it wasn't a tennis racket. <laughs> long pole crabbing net, that's right, finite world. But on my screen, Jessica is two ahead of you. So that Jessica, if you live in the United States, you have won the two plaques. Now, just uh, email me or uh, send me a, a message on Facebook that gives me your address, and I'll get these mailed right out to you. And you got five days to do that, okay? So congratulations, Jessica. <laughs> That's fun. All right, today I'm going to do some sewing. I've got a whole bunch of chicken in the fridge that I cooked yesterday, and I'm going to start making some meals with that. I have some cleaning to do and planning to do and tomorrow we have Jeffrey again so the things I need to do I need to do today so thank you all for coming in I'm in the US yay thank you yay okay that Jessica I'm glad for you thank you all for coming in God bless you all please subscribe to my channel if you have not and catch me on Facebook it Kate's been uh, putting up my links and it's uh, Susie Bandana on Facebook Kate, thank you as always for doing such a fabulous job moderating. And thank you to any other moderators that came in. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you all next time.
Bye-bye.